and miracle that spit chill. Give me zero, no good, good. That's a boy, wife, no retail. We Yugi peoples, welcome to the commentary. I right, so this one right here is against um Dragon Link, Bestial Dragon Link. You know, this is pretty popular in my area, thanks to Nico, Pamela, everybody wants to be like Nico. So yeah, he's inspired so many Dragon Link players in my area. And yeah, so this is XYZ Mass Heroes versus Dragon Link. And one of the things I like to always do is to hit that, hit the um, field spell. Like I don't like them using the field spell. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and ash the striker dragon right there and put an end to that one. And then we are going to proceed with our turn. We're going to go ahead and Rota here. Um, usually like most Dragon Link decks don't play a lot of hand traps and stuff. So I wasn't necessarily worried about getting drolled at this point. And yeah, we're just going to try to do our best with our hand that we have here. I am going to go ahead and add Stratos. And, you know, the thing that's kind of weird is like usually like Bestial, Dragon Link, they don't run too many trap cards. But when he set two back row, I was a little bit worried here. So I am going to a Hero Lives into Shadow Mist and try to activate Shadow Mist to add Mass Change. And he's going to go ahead and Imperm that, which I kind of figured was going to happen anyway. And that's why we grabbed the Stratos with the Rota, because I want to go ahead and get that other back row that he has back there. And it ends up being um, Dragon Maid Titan. So he's going to bounce back the Striker Dragon and bounce back the Stratos. And yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't get to my mass change there. And nor did I have a rank four extender. But for some reason, those last two cards in his hand don't really do too much. So at this point, yeah, it's just like really, really, really pretty bad for him. And it was actually kind of bad for me, too, because I opened up. A lot of monsters and I try to go Stratos here and he's going to attempt to Gamma me here and I'm trying to decide if I want to let the Gamma go but I'm going to go ahead and Ash it so that I can get my follow up for next turn because if he does end up playing anything you know it's going to end up killing the Gamma and yeah i was just thinking about what rank four monster i want to be able to make after i attack him for this 2800 damage and trying to decide here yeah it's just one of the things you know about this deck is like uh if you end up drawing like a whole bunch of the whole 10 monsters that are inside the deck it makes the killing your opponent like pretty slow but yeah there's only like 10 monsters inside of this deck and i end up drawing a bunch of them so i end up going here into um going into the chakanine borbo zeus play because i know the dragon link can do you know quite they can play through quite a few interruptions so i figured that having zeus out there gives me two interruptions and also i know that he also has that gamma in hand and maybe i can get him to activate the gamma on the shadow mist that's up under zeus since i already have the liquid soldier in hand i'm not too worried about you know shadow mist effect going off i'll be able to kill him next turn with the liquid soldier stratos and the honest neos that i have in my hand so he's going to rare metal dragon i'm not going to zeus that go ahead and let him do his striker dragon play and when he goes to add, when he goes to special summon the red eyes, I'm going to go ahead and Zeus there and then let, see if he'll gamma my shadow miss. So, yeah, after he brings it out, it's no quick effect. Detach the two hero materials. That way I can target them with liquid soldier. I'm going to attempt to add with shadow mist and without shadow mist, shadow mist effect is going to go ahead and get negated right there by the gamma and you know looking at chaos space because i know it allows him to like shuffle in and draw so kind of actually surprised he hadn't did that one yet but i thought maybe there was some reason i didn't know and yeah wasn't too sure if they play like um generic synchro type things to go into but he's going to go ahead and ip right there and summon out Levier Dragon. 
But I guess like mostly what it was is that he wanted to get the materials into the graveyard, I guess, to be able to summon it. I think I'm not too sure why he did it like that. But yeah, down comes Chaos Dragon Levin Air. It's going to force me to use my other Zeus effect. And yeah, there goes the Chaos Space. And he knows that I have the follow up for next turn in my hand. And he's going to go ahead and scoop them up. So yeah, even without the optimal optimal hand there you know zeus is just a very strong card you know if you're gonna play an xyz hero deck you know gotta play that boy zeus off in there so we grabbed the game one victory so now going into game two of course dragon link will choose to go first here and we're gonna go ahead and draw our opening hands and get this game started off and yeah, like looking at my opening hand, you know, it's pretty good. I have hand traps. I have, you know, some starters to go into. Not necessarily the starters I would really, really like to have, but a, hey, you know, it's going, it's just going to have to be enough. And he starts off with Chaos Space again. This card is really crazy good. He's going to go ahead and discard the Gamma to add the black and yeah it's just like sometimes i'll be wanting to to ash that card but you know now that i see that he's playing gamma i'm like that's not the best idea not too sure if like other dragon link you know decks really play gamma but yeah there goes the black into the striker dragon striker dragon into the um r yeah black into white striker dragon and tournament packs come flying you know, they just be flying in from anywhere sometimes here. Nah. But there goes the seal play. Grab the black again. And, you know, I just figured like maybe his um hand wasn't too strong for him to, you know, just end on seal pass, which I figure he probably means he probably has a bunch of hand traps. So as y'all can see, I did draw the shifter for Terry. He goes ahead and tries to show off his hand there. I guess it like wasn't very optimal and that's why he ended on seal pass. But trying to decide if I want to go ahead and shifter because you know it just sucks that i drew it as my sixth card it would have been nice to have had it when he started off you know to turn with chaos space there to be able to stop it but i was checking to see if it needed to be um sent to the graveyard in order for it to work but since we drew the shifter a little bit too late trying to i'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway i just assumed that he has like quite a few different hand traps and so we're going to activate the dark ruler no more. We're going to chain the shifter and yeah, I guess that was a mistake because it's going to allow, since he, even though he can't chain to the dark ruler no more, he's able to chain to the effect of shifter. And yeah, that just kind of messed me up there a little bit. So down comes the magna mutt and I'm going to go ahead and e-call and e is going to get ash but we have the solid soldier so we're going to go solid soldier into stratos and we're going to use the stratos to go ahead and add our follow-up which is the liquid soldier so yeah trying to decide like what's my best line of options here but you know i feel like it's pretty okay since i have the shifter in play dragon link won't be able to do too too much next turn and yeah because we are you know playing this xyz hero deck we are going to go ahead and make our four material zeus again i just really don't want to have to like activate zeus a second time you know because i don't want to lose my hero materials that are on there but i think i did end up having to do it but you know being able to make two interruptions for our little um for our little solid soldier stratos play you know it's pretty good plus we got to add the follow-up for next turn so i don't mind having to do this too too much and the magnum butt by himself of course can't act the, uh, out the zeus so hopefully i don't end up having to use both of them you know is what the deal is so yeah he goes ahead and adds the chaos armageddon dragon haven't seen this card in a while go ahead and see exactly what in the world this thing does but yeah i think like when he was choosing which card to get 
he didn't take into consideration shifter being into play and i think like part of chaos uh dragon's effect is to like um send cars to the graveyard but yeah no cars can be sent to the graveyard during his turn either because shifter was activated on my turn and it lasts for two turns so yeah even though like when he starts to play it and do the chaos armageddon plays and stuff i just go ahead and let it happen <laughs> because you know it's not gonna send anything to the graveyard so yeah i think it like destroys cards uh i don't know it does something crazy i'm not too sure but yeah it's got to send them to the graveyard and so he summons it out he's trying to calculate and see what can be done here and you know we're both looking at the card reading talking about it and i can't remember if we ended up calling over a judge but he is kind of like a judge also but now yeah we did we called over a judge just to be sure and yeah without cards being able to be sent to the graveyard his effect cannot activate and so as he proceeds to end his turn right here pretty sure y'all are wondering how come i did not zeus his board and the reason why is because i really want to be able to dump the hero materials because i have the liquid soldier in hand and they would get banished and then I wouldn't have um, anything to board wipe to detach with Zeus. So I go ahead and wait for my turn. And then in the standby phase, I'm going to go ahead and Zeus. And I have to do both because of the imperm. But like I said, if I did it during the end phase, then, you know, the hero materials would have gotten, would have gotten um, banished. And then if i had did the zodiac materials then i wouldn't have been able to activate zeus again in order to dump the hero materials into the graveyard so i just figured that was probably the best line of play of course we still get a little bit punished for it because he does have the imperm and now when we go to summon the liquid soldier he also has that gamma again <laughs> like man gamma and droll are about to be like crazy cars this format so yeah i have the ash in hand though so i'm trying to decide if i want to go ahead and ash that so i will go ahead and ash it and I'm going to bring out the Stratos. And I think I decide not to activate the effect of Stratos. That way he does I don't end up getting gamma. But he's got the Magnumut. And yeah, he's able to remove my D shifter. And we're gonna Zeus there. Attack with the Liquid Soldier. Attack with the Stratos. And we're going to make our XYZ here. Yeah, I think if um if we if he didn't have the gamma i think i definitely he would have definitely have been dead yeah he definitely would have been dead there because you know that honest neos with stratos is like 4300 then you got like 3000 from zeus and then 14 more from 14 more from the liquid soldier so we definitely had game there but unfortunately the gamma is going to be able to save his life so yeah so we just end up making babuska since his is a continuous effect and it doesn't like happen until he puts like a monster out there on the board then i wouldn't have to worry about being gamma but it doesn't matter anyway because i get lava golem and i'm gonna go ahead and scoop there because i know he had a nice little search off of magnumut and uh no other follow-up this one thing about this deck is that the follow-up is not very strong so yeah we're gonna go ahead and call it quits there so we can go ahead and have plenty of time going into game three and now going into game three we will finally get the opportunity to go first but unfortunately you know my um my going first hand was not all that strong i think this was one of those hands where i was just like yeah the um the whatchamacallit so because i didn't have like a way to really play around or counter draw i had rota an emergency call i'm going to go ahead and uh erota into the shadow mist first that way if i do get drolled i do have the mass change to be able to bar make dark law which is absolutely what ends up happening so yeah we're going to go ahead and flip up mass change during the standby phase 
That way we can kind of play around triple tactics talents if we have to. As I attempt to activate the shadow miss effect in order to add the honest neos is what I was going to be searching for. He is going to go ahead and ash that and bring out the magnumut. When Magnumut activates his effect to add, I'm going to go ahead and Ghost Ogre it in order to save my Dark Law. So, yeah, we definitely want our Dark Law to survive. It's pretty good against Dragon Link. And, yeah, so we're going to Ghost Ogre that thing. That way it will not be able to attack over our Dark Law. And, you know, on our next turn, we, all, we have the Emergency Call. And we can go search for the Honest Neos to be able to um, attack over whatever bestial he ends up adding off of the Magnumut. But I think he actually didn't end up adding another bestial monster. He goes ahead and adds the, um, the, the Black Dragon. And I guess he just he wanted, I don't know if maybe he wanted a starter or what it was. I'm not sure, but I think he might be kind of new to the dragon link deck but yeah he goes ahead and adds the black and i am going to go ahead and um yeah dark law snipe ends up sniping the lava golem which was pretty crazy because if my turn had been stronger last turn i would have ended up absolutely have getting lava golem so you know i guess it was one of those situations where you know protagonist powers were activating without me actually knowing it and yeah, so we actually like slide by with that one. And then now with Dark Law sniping the Lava Golem, which I did not know was there at all. Uh, yeah, I feel like we're a little bit safe to go ahead and put that second monster out there on the board. And yeah, so we're going to attack into the face down. I believe it is the Nocto Vision. And then, you know, attack directly with Stratos. But I was kind of, you know, strange. Like I said, that he added the black without being able to get monsters into the graveyard to banish the special summon that guy or maybe it was just like nah he definitely should have added a bestial there so yeah we just right now got that stratos dark law beat down i was a little bit short on the damage to be able to kill him with honest neos but there goes the draw of the bestial monster and when he goes to attack into it i believe he forgot that i added the honest neos so yeah that will completely blow up the uh, magnumut so yeah we end up getting it there dark law sometimes dark law is just enough you know we had the ash we had the ghost ogre and it helped him survive <laughs> for that one turn but yeah you do what you got to do in order to win sometimes so appreciate everybody for staying a while to listen and i will catch y'all on the next video man he come through he level up he go keep he shining out and popping to over 9k that's a breakthrough be on top now here's a look at our world